Well, just the right amount of sun and rain this summer has set us up for a prime sweet corn crop. Farmers are excited about soil conditions and other factors that should result in a bumper crop. John Lauritsen shows us the factors that will make this sweet corn harvest even a little sweeter. We have 70 acres. We do have a fair amount of woods and some wetlands. The Gislin brothers near Jordan, Minnesota have been farming for more than 40 years. And then these are uh, slicing cucumbers here. From apples to zucchinis, the Gislins have it covered. But this year, they are especially excited. Grab it, you just want to give it a nice snap, and it snaps right off. That just the right amount of sun and rain has created a winning recipe for sweet corn. Well, that's how it's harvested. This is just about perfect. It's been pollinated well. It's filled out really nice, good moisture content. It's really what we want the corn to look like. Which is more than they can say for the past couple sweet corn seasons. I'd say we're off to a better start than usual. That's because in previous years, late snowfalls have meant late starts for planting. This year, the Gislins and other sweet corn farmers figure they got at least two extra weeks to work with. Usually we get maybe 12 good weeks. This year we'll get like 14 good weeks, so it's very important. Conditions have been good for growing, almost too good. When it rains, everything grows, everything. Not just the sweet corn, but the weeds too. And so it's a little challenge to keep up, but it's better than the alternative. In this three-acre plot, the Gislins expect to harvest 18,000 cobs of corn. Much of it will go to farmers' markets around the Twin Cities. The Gislins know Mother Nature did her part. Now it's just up to the salt and butter. We just started picking on Saturday. We're still a little on the young side. Now that it's had a couple more days to ripen up, this is just about what it should look like. Looks good. Uh, the Gislins say they're normally picking sweet corn during the first week of August, so they are ahead of schedule. They think they'll be very busy from now through Labor Day.